So I'm not Democrat or Republican. Um, of course, you know, when you're black and you grow up, um, you know, you hear everybody talking about the Democratic Party, so you kind of believe that, you know, you should be Democratic. But as I got older, um, I didn't see any validity in being a Democrat. You know, I went on to create political commercials for people. I did the jingle, as you may have heard me mention before, for Barack Obama, I did, um, you know, work for other mayors um, locally and around the country. Um, did some work with David Axelrod, who was um, the uh, political advisor to President Barack Obama. But I don't see myself as in a party. Like, I don't see myself as Republican or Democrat. Um, I'm completely independent in my thinking. Um, the pressure is on you to be in a party. So they want you to declare something. Like everybody wants you to be in a party. I just don't see it like that. I see politics in America um, as you know the movement of resources. So uh, resources should be moved to me and my community. And then I need to lobby, I need to um, demand and fight for those things I believe I should get and my community should get. Whoever gives it to you. And what difference does it make? Who gives it to you as long as you get the resources that you need? And quite frankly, when it comes to politics, it's about leverage. So if you put all your eggs in one basket, do you really expect that, you know, that basket or that political faction or party is going to look your way? They're going to spend more time trying to sway the people that don't completely look their way. I watched it happen. So with the LGBTQ community and some of the other um, interest groups, the Hispanic um, groups and what have you, they spend a lot of time, both parties, in trying to sway them. The Republicans don't spend any time trying to sway black folks or, or to get our vote because they know we're locked into the Democratic side. And in my opinion, that has gotten us nowhere over a whole long time. So why would I vote um, Republican? Because they're not likely to give me anything. And then, you know, voting Democrat, you're going to get more of the same. Just look at it. I mean, the the, the factions and the, the equation hasn't... The equation hasn't changed for many, many years from the Democratic side in terms of African Americans. Black folks have not really benefited in this country over the last 40 years from the Democratic side. So how is that of benefit to you? The Republicans don't do jack crap for black folks. So you don't have the Republican side. You don't have the Democratic side. And I think that's really the whole problem with um, black folks getting what they need to get in this country. The Democrats take black folks for granted. And the Republicans don't even try to get black folks or try to even work with them because they know that we're locked in to the Democratic side. So it's a no win, in my opinion, for black people politically. You know, they do what they have. They do the song and dance for you and make you feel good. But in the final analysis, they give you absolutely nothing. And the Republicans don't even try to give you anything. So, you know, for me personally, um, I'm independent, man. If I see a Republican that makes sense to me, I'll vote for a Republican. If I see an independent that um, makes sense to me, I'll go that way. If I see a libertarian candidate that goes that uh, makes sense to me, I'll go that way. If I see a Democratic candidate, I'll go that way. So I'll go whichever way makes sense to me. It's just like choosing a, a school for your children. Do you get locked into a certain thing or do you look for the best choices for your children? Um, just like you, when you're looking for a house, I mean, uh, it, do you get locked into a particular thing or do you go for what is the best for you when it goes to, it comes to looking for a job for yourself do you get locked into a certain ideology no you don't what you do is you look for the best thing for yourself and that's how it should be when it comes to politics if somebody gave you two choices of a relationship of a of a potential love interest um, and you don't like either choice you may opt out and not take either one of them Think about it, what you're going to do. Well, I'm going to take one on because these are the only two choices I have. No, you're not going to do that. When it matters to your life, you're going to do the thing that's best for you. And that's it. You know, and I think about, you know, the way that uh, people go to work every day. Now, you go to work every day, many of you. And, you know, you don't like your boss. Some of you all may think your boss or your managers are just pure out racist. But what you don't do is walk up out of that job. You don't leave that job because you believe your bosses are racist. So, in my opinion, 
when it comes to president of the United States of America, I don't think that we've had a president that has been totally for black people. The best that we have had because of his heritage would be a Barack Obama because he was, you know, multiracial. Um, but we haven't had anybody that jealously looked out for the black interest, wholly looked out for the black interest. You know, it was somewhat um, disconcerting to me when I found out that Donald Trump, of all people, was the first president to permanently fund black colleges. That was like, man, a kick in the gut. You would have thought the first black president would have done something like that. But for whatever reason, Donald Trump did it. He did it. He was the first president to permanently uh, fund uh, black colleges and universities by executive order. And um, not only that, you know, the First Step Act, which is the um, uh, Prison Reform Act, um, you know, the Democrats years ago, they uh, set up criminal justice reform or criminal justice, whatever they did. And, it essentially took 100,000 black men from their families. And, and then Donald Trump ends up signing the First Step Act. You know, see, when I find things out like that, that's exactly the reason I don't become locked into a certain party. Because given what I would think, it would, it would have been the Democrats who would have given us the First Step Act or the permanently fund black colleges and universities. But the unlikely person, Donald Trump, you know, did that. A lot of people don't even know that. I was in a barbershop recently and um, that subject came up and everybody was blown away when they found out that Donald Trump actually did fund through executive order uh, black colleges and universities and that Donald Trump actually signed into law the First Step Act, which was a sweeping uh, prison reform um, law. So I think it's better to go for the heart of people and the people. And I'm going to tell you, Donald Trump crazy every day of the week. Man, it ain't a day Donald Trump says something that makes perfectly good sense. You know, if, as a matter of fact, the best days Donald Trump ever has in terms of making sense is when he says nothing. So it's kind of crazy that he would do that. But then the Democrats who get huge support from black folks, you know, why wouldn't they be the first one to do many of these things? What stops them over all these years, man? from really doing the things they need to do for black folks since they enjoy the vast majority uh, of black folks in terms of the voter. That's why I cannot be in a party. And I think as time goes on and when I watch the young folks, man, they're not predisposed to being in a party. What they're doing is they're seeking out candidates that make sense for the interest of them. You know, when you ask somebody and ask yourself, um, why is it that you vote? And how do you see politics? If I ask you, hey, listen, what is the number one and number two thing that you want from, you know, your politics and people you elect? What would you say? The number one thing that you should want is the resources that they bring you. That's all you should really want. That's number one. And number two is like more resources because the government doesn't make any money through our taxes. Is that how they get the money? It's really our money and their representatives, and they should be cutting up that money on our behalf, not for their reasons or their purposes or their interests or their self-interest. That's not what they're doing. And we have to be the ones to make sure we hold their feet to the fire to do the right things on our behalf. When they seduce us to be in, you know, enamored by a party, that's the beginning of the end. No, we have to be enamored by getting what we need to get in terms of resources to fairly distribute the resources amongst the people in America because black folks are tax paying people too. Why should we all always get the, the you know, why should we always get the crud in the bottom of the barrel when in fact we're paying taxes too, when in fact we're voting, you know, at high numbers. Right now, the, if, if the black folks didn't vote, the Democrats would be out of it. So in terms of my political views, I'm neither Democrat or Republican. I'm independent of my thinking. I vote for candidates that make sense, uh, those who have the history of moving resources. Um, you cannot always find the perfect candidate. So, you know, I say, hey, listen, this one has the best shot. And um, I don't feel bad, quite frankly, if I sit out in an election. No, I, it doesn't bother me to sit out in an election um, because I don't think that my voice and my vote should be given um, as a token. Is it like, man, you know, you think about a relationship. You know, either you're going to be a whole or you're going to be a prostitute politically.
you're gonna be one or the other. If politically you're gonna be a hoe, then you're just gonna go and vote for anybody. You're gonna sleep around. You're gonna just vote for anybody, or you're gonna be a political prostitute. And I fit more on the side of the political prostitute. I want to get paid for my. So if you, it's up to how you look at it. You know, I know y'all tripping. Like, hey, did he really go there? I mean, but it's serious. You should not be giving up your vote for anything just because. No. You should be giving up your vote because it makes sense to you and those around you. If you're not going to get something for the vote, why are you giving up the vote? So you're going to be one or the other. You're either going to be a political whore or you're going to be a political prostitute. Political whores give it up for nothing. Political prostitutes get something in return if i offended anybody not trying to offend you i just want to make it real clear you know how i think and you know what my views are and kind of what i think should be happening because you know at the top of this thing to these politicians they get all of what they want and they use us to get what they want so why shouldn't we get what we want you know what i'm saying they, they clear about it they want something out of the game they ain't doing it for nothing. Think about it. Why would somebody run for an office, whether it's governor, whether it's mayor, whether it's president, why would you run for an office that's only going to pay you so much money? Like the president is only getting like, what, 300 grand, you know, a year? Why would you want that, especially Donald Trump? Well, like in some of these um, states like Illinois, you know, you got a Prisker, J.B. Prisker, and this guy is a billionaire, man, but he's, he, he ran and took a job that's not paying him, you know, even... $250,000. Why would you want that? You know why? Because having that position allows you to gather in and move a lot of money in the billions and trillions of dollars. That's why. They all want something out of it. Why shouldn't we want something out of it? Anyway, um, let me know what you think about this. Put the um, your comments um, in the chat and comments. Let me know what you think. If you like it, what I'm doing and you like what I said then go ahead and um, you can like the video or you don't have to like the video um, but let me see your response and let me know your comment about you know what are your political views so if you if you don't mind sharing um, or you don't have to you can just comment on what you think about my political views um, also if you could share this video and subscribe to this channel and then click the bell when you subscribe so that we can notify you when we have new um, content because we're gonna have more and more and more and more and more content and the videos are designed to make you think, you know, never to offend you. I may get real cutting edge with it in terms of my conversation, but it's really to make you think about what we're doing when we do it. Because we don't have time to just be doing anything. We have to have purpose behind it, what we do. Every time we do something, it should have purpose. So it's only um, to be thought provoking, to make you think about what it is you're doing and what we should be doing collectively. Growing this channel expands the reach and I want to reach more people and I want to share my views with more people. If you agree with me and you think my views have validity, then I want you to help me grow this channel. Thank you very much. I'll talk to you later.